Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Regrowth. As always, we have stacks to do. Um, but the good news is we are getting there. We're very nearly there with uh, with our uh, ender seeds. Uh, so hopefully we should be getting those up to 10, 10, 10. Hopefully by the end of that row. But yeah, the stuff we want to try and get done today. We have lots and lots and lots to do. So I've been out uh, trying to get mushrooms and it kind of occurred to me actually that um, you can use mutandis as a way of uh, sort of transforming grass. Hence there's a little bit of long grass there where I was busy using mutandis uh, to try and make mushrooms because we need mushrooms for what we are going to be doing today. Um, we also need to make another trip to the nether, which I actually was going to try and sort out before uh, before I did this. But, you know, like an idiot, kind of didn't get around to doing that. Better have a, a little munch. But, uh, but yeah, Mutantis is dead easy to make. We have made it sort of earlier on. So that is literally just the wood ash, which you can get from either burning trees or if you're using a witch's oven, which we haven't made yet. Um, it's a byproduct of cooking the saplings to get some of the uh, uh, the things that you actually need out of that. Uh, mandrake root, either green dye or cactus green and some bone meal. And that gives you three mutandis. So I was busy using that and uh, managed to get us a couple of mushrooms. I've also got some Spanish moss, which I have kept and I've just kind of left there. So that will spread kind of across. It won't go any further up or down. Um, because there isn't anywhere for it to go. Um, but the stuff that I want to do today is actually really based in these chests here, which is uh, to do with the runes. But we do need to go and get a couple of bits. Now, I think we can use... I think we can use uh, mushroom, like this, the red mushrooms. Uh, let's go rune, and it's rune of the earth, which is the one that we need. Now, I think we can use... I hope we can use a red mushroom, but we possibly can't and we might need to go to the nether to uh, to get that. But you can use any kind of glow shrooms and things like that as well. Um, but I think we can, I think we can do that. But yeah, we need to go and I need to go and get some netherrack because I need nether bricks for the fire, the rune of fire. So why don't we take our life into our own hands and go and do something super stupid and go to the nether again just because we can we're lucky so far we've not had any pigment i'm hoping that we're not going to encounter anything too awful i literally just want to dive in try and grab some netherrack quickly i'm not going to touch see we've just landed it's all it's all ores isn't it and tainted sand i'm hoping he won't get too upset if i no, that's fine. So they don't get upset if you take netherrack, which is good, but they will get quite upset if we we start taking the ores. And we could kind of start digging through. Ooh, let's just be very careful because he's quite close to us, and I don't I don't want to upset him. He seems he seems a nice chap. What I might do very quickly is why don't we put can't see we've got a hellhound over there haven't we um let's very quickly uh let's see if we can pop over this way and see if we can see anywhere that may may have mushrooms because we should be able to get mushrooms here oh it's just you see we've got those glow shrooms which are over over there just wonder if we've got enough that we can kind of try and bridge across an area oh heat scar spiders and the hellhound oh this is not going to go good this is not going to go well there may be death any second So we got the dog. 
So we've got Tongue of Dog, which is a witchery thing. We've also got Flame String. Um, that actually makes quite good, quite good bows. Um, I'm not entirely sure I want to be taking on another Heat Scar Spider. But why don't we boost our health a little bit? Uh, I'm just trying to think, because that up there is something that would actually give us mushrooms but I'm just not seeing oh and I are hearing a uh... here he comes it's... where have you gone not going to get very far with a uh... not going to get very far trying to hit it with a torch are we I think let's play safe and let's just go back through and see if we can try and do it with uh, with a red mushroom rather than a brown mushroom because it's worth a go I mean failing that if that's the only one that we can't do that's not the end of the world okay let's go and stick excuse us Go stick those in there. Now this is Natura. I haven't got a box of Natura. I might put that into our our preciouses. And let's stick our string away. But no, we do need some nether bricks. So let's do eight of those. So we haven't actually got any room to put those. So again, I'm just going to put that up there like so. Uh, grab us some coal. We only need just the one, just the one nether brick. Oh, that's why we're making some more wood ash. We can go and stick that back in our our little witchery chest. So we just need the one. As I was saying, there we go. One nether brick. And let's pop out here, and that sits in with this one here. So. The runes. So we have here, this is the uh, rune of water. So that's that one there. We have the rune of fire. So this is the one that has the nether brick, the gunpowder and the nether wart. Rune of the earth. I'm going to try that with our mushroom that we have got. Rune of the air. We don't have any chickens yet. Um, so we're not able to do that one. And the Rune of Mana is the other one that we're going to make, which is this one here, which is just a load of, uh, it's a mana pearl and a load of, uh, of mana um, steel. So I'm just going to move these bits out of here. I'm going to go and grab, go and grab our wand. I'm trying to remember where I now have Patel, but I had Tenny. It was all over here, isn't it? Because I moved it all. So we need this. So we need our wand. We've already got everything else that we need apart from our mushroom, which I think I've put into here. Yeah, we've got two of them. So I'm hoping that the red mushroom will work. At the end of the day, it's a mushroom. So you'd like to think so. So why don't we why don't we start with that one and see where we go? So this could use quite a lot of our mana. Um, but we'll see how we go. So we need to go. Mana steel, uh, the mana powder, which is just dropping sort of gunpowder or sugar or something like that into to there. And it's worked perfectly. So that's going to take, you can see it's actually quite quick ticking over there. So this is our rune of the earth. There we go. We've now got the lightning. We'll pop our living rock on. And that gives us two. And we actually only need one which is really cool so that's two runes of the earth brilliant so let's do our rune of water next it's actually not done too badly has it it's not taken too much of our of our mana so mana steel mana dust vanilla fishing rod bone meal sugar cane and again that's pretty quick we'll have our living rock ready to drop on as soon as that's ready So it's a pretty quick process. So again, with the runes, some of these will be used um, sort of once the 
uh, if you use them within a crafting recipe they will actually be used up if you're using them on the runic altar um, it won't actually use them at all and you'll get them back afterwards which is a proper bonus so nether brick gunpowder nether wart mana powder mana steel and this will be our rune of fire oh what have we got growing here gloriosa interesting so that's extra biomes is that a plant or is that a Ooh. pop that on there that's our rune of fire and then the last one that we can definitely do for the minute is a rune of mana now it's not to say so it's five mana steel there we go just gather that back quickly it's not to say that we can't maybe actually look at eggs now um, so once this one's complete it might be that we can actually go off and we can actually make ourselves um, mycelium because we've got that extra mushroom now that only gives us one rune of mana which is a little bit disappointing but that's fine I can I can deal with that so why don't we just go for a second inside and we'll pop we got somewhere nice that we can actually keep our keep our runes don't think we've got another set of chests have we or anything like that at all Ooh, I wonder should we make another uh, why don't we make some more drawers very quickly and I think we want the 4x4 four four drawers or the 2x2 two two, don't we so we want wood and we want 4 chests we've got 2 chests which is fine let's just grab our oak wood because it's not like we haven't got a metric butt ton of that just turn that all into planks quickly because let's face it we can always use it for something else if we need to so we need one two more chests and then we'll just arrange this just in the right pattern I know it's sort of completely wrong because we don't actually need quite that many one two three four that'll give us four more drawers let's gather this lot back we'll stick that away and let's go one two oh one two three four and we'll go let's go runa manor so we're going to end up with quite a few runes by the end of this let's go rune of water rune of fire rune of the earth amazing have we got enough space to put these blocks away as well probably not but that's fine i'm going to go and dump less actually onto the uh, onto the altar let's stick these not into the altar but into here let's control q chuck those in there and that can start topping up the mana again now so we need chickens and chickens means we need eggs now where did i put is that still in my <gasps> where have i put it where is our questing book have i put that away somewhere or am i going to need to go make another one I'm just wondering whether I've accidentally threw that into the mana pool uh, and turned it into um, Alex and Botanica. Uh oh. Where's our questing book? So we need to make another one of them. Okay, easy. So that is just two woods to stick, uh, stick in some coal. Let's just go and make another one of those quickly. So there's two of them. Ooh. One of them. And one bit of charcoal. Very quickly make a new one of that. But yeah, I can't actually believe I did that. One quest book. There we go. Happy days. Right. So 
uh, is it the way the world works is that what we're working on at the moment so written in stone so this is the one that we're working on so as you can see we've got 100% on the rune of the water rune of fire rune of the earth and the rune of mana rune of the air is the one that we're needing and that's the one where we're needing a feather um, but we need eggs in order to do that so I think is it what the world's made of it is not uh, what the uh, it's not that one what the world enables no what the world is built from no I can never remember where it is is it number nine life of the world okay there we go so yeah egg so we need ah a rune of the earth mandrake seeds pasture seeds rune of mana and normal seeds you know now we've got these we can get eggs which means we can get feathers right so we need seeds mandrake seeds pasture seed question is i think i have a pasture seed one pasture seed we just need some normal seeds uh do we have some normal seeds mandrake seeds i think we have got that's water artichoke where could our mandrake seeds be if we have any I wonder whether we can actually make a mandrake seed just by putting that into there. No. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can go and we can go and get mandrake seeds. That is pretty easy. And as for normal seeds again, uh, that's fine. We can get those. To be fair, we can probably get them from here. Let's have a look. So normal seeds. Let's just take one of those. And where are our mandrake seeds? Hiding in here somewhere. Mandrake seeds. Yeah, you see, we're, we're all right. We've got 10, 10, 10 stuff. So we need that. We need that. We need that. We'll need some living rock. And we need our rune of mana and a rune of the earth. Let's just swap those around. I think that is it, isn't it? just check again so pasture seed yep awesome let's go get ourselves 16 eggs because we can then get ourselves some chickens so rune of the earth rune of mana pasture seed mandrake seed normal seeds and again that's pretty quick that's taken no time at all boom on with the living rock boom so there you can see we get our two runes back and we've got 16 eggs. Now the hope here is that we can uh, break these so and uh, make ourselves a nice chicken. Right, do we have any kind of fences at all? Doesn't look like it, but let's take some of the cobblestone. Let's make ourselves some cobblestone fences very quickly. And I'm kind of thinking, to start with, let's start our farm, like our animals down here. Now I'm kind of thinking we could probably do with some dirt for them to live on. It's not like we're short after all, is it? So why don't we start them, start them over here. Uh, where is our pick? There's our pick. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five by five, I think we'll do. Two, three, four. Actually, why don't we do four by four? We'll just pop some, some cobble back down. It's not a big deal. It's not gonna be particularly beautiful, but it'll be fine. Okay, and then we'll, we'll go like so. 
and what we'll try and do now is see if we can hopefully at least one of these might spawn us a chicken wow nothing okay interesting 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 so that kind of means that was a big fail that was a big fail right mandrake right i'm going to i'm just going to take this one up just because i want the seeds but let's break the cotton and potatoes just because i want to make sure that we that we get mandrake come back and we just need some normal corn don't we so i wonder whether that will is that giving us any seeds it's just giving us straight corn so what i will do is take this one from here harvest that back harvest that back put two of those in that hopefully should give us those so that's our normal seeds our mandrake seeds let's go and get our runes again I think I've got enough pasture seeds left to be able to do that and see if we can just get ourselves another another 16 and hope that we have a little bit of better luck out of that because once we've got one um, we'll be okay once we have one have I got another pasture seed I have got oh, I've got 12 oh we've got plenty that's good that is good right so let's go for this again so that 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 we see the spanish moss that's starting to spread just over there now which is good so we can just harvest that with shears and that's part of the the witchery thing right let's go and see if we can get ourselves some chickens out of this lot sorry about that had a little bit of a an emergency as the uh, the cats escaped we've had uh, some problems with the security gates um, and he normally doesn't go out of the garden uh, however this time we decided to pop out and take a run across the car park and there's no way that we could actually stop him but wow yet again no chickens I wonder if there's any way we can hatch them or is it is literally just a case of Oh, that's bees hatchery, isn't it? Okay. No, so we've got no kind of, of hatching thing. So it is a bit of a case that we just kind of have to keep keep going with these. So let's grab ourselves another another pasture seed. Let's go and see if we can get another mandrake seed. Nothing's actually grown there yet. And our mandrake that has that has repopulated. So let's do that and that. I think we've got enough. We've got enough seed seeds. I think to uh, to take one out of our ten, ten, ten. Yeah, I can cope with that. I can live with that as a thing. In fact, actually rather than doing that can we can we do the same thing with those yes we can awesome there we go endless supply of them that works for me so we just need then another piece of living rock and we do it all again so seeds magic seeds da, 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 da. we'll try this for the last time if this doesn't work this time then uh, I think we will call it quits and I'll just kind of keep trying off camera to try and get get the eggs but let's just see how we go to see if we can try and get at least one it's so all I need is just the one in order to do that but no thank you very much to uh, desert rat 65 who again helped with the uh, sort of the finding why are you not hatching into chickens Yay! Oh my god, we got 
three out of one egg. Yeah, that just happened, didn't it? Four! Four out of one egg. I'm going to have to go back and check the video on this, but I'm sure that's what happened. The very last one just suddenly exploded into four chickens. But I'm not going to complain about that. I am not complaining at all. Um, that is... That's fantastic. So, yeah, that was kind of worth it, kind of. Kind of-ish. But that means that hopefully they will grow and we will be able to get feathers from them. So I'm going to go grab my shears because there's something else that I wanted to show you. I've actually got I've got some dirt on me, which is great as well. So in the last episode, we were talking about... Um, oh, in fact, actually, I think we've probably got a quest, haven't we, now? Yeah, claim our reward. That gives us another 16 eggs and experience. You see, we could have done that and not gone through all that again, couldn't we? But never mind. Never mind. It is what it is. Now, I need to go and get some leaves and I'm going to shear the leaves. Um, I'm going to take them off of the the birch. Actually, no, I'm not going to take them off of the birch tree because I haven't got that many. Let's just gather just a few of these leaves. Uh, oh, that's good. It is actually still giving us saplings. That's what I was a little worried about, that if we did the leaves, we wouldn't get the saplings. But we do get the saplings, so that is fine. Um, so in the previous episode, we'd set up the sifter down here. And I was puzzling over, you know, what it was and how it actually worked. And again, Desert Rat came back and he explained the sifter. Now, we need to either sieve leaves or we need to sieve dirt. So... See, we get grasshoppers by sieving leaves, which is cool. So that becomes grasshopper bait for the fish. And we can also, let's gather those up. I don't think there's any others. Or we can sieve dirt. So it's a little bit like the X and Hilo sieves that you have to sieve a product through them. And that gives you worms or oh, ant bait and bait worms. So that is how you get your bait for mariculture. So, um, oh look, we've unlocked all of these egg things now. We can now start with all of the spawn egg stuff. How exciting. Okay, so it is in what the world... Uh, how the way the world works? Nope, it's not in that one. Let's try and see if we can find what the world is built from. No, we need to try and find the one that's got the, the sifter in it. If we can remember which one that was. Now, was that, was that in chapter 10? It's not in the life of the world. How the world grows? No, but there we go. There's the witching stuff. So that's where we start to get the... We start to unlock uh, the witchery. But, uh, yeah. We were talking about the, the tanks for mariculture. Um, so I think kind of because it's taken a little bit longer to get to where we have done with this particular episode, I think we'll probably come back to the the mariculture stuff. Um, but let's gather that Spanish moss. Let's also gather this here because I don't know what we can actually do with that. But that's extra fine with the Gloriosa. Interesting. But uh, yeah, that's what you can actually use the sieve for. So we've got mariculture. We started was in this chest here wasn't it we started doing some agriculture stuff so let's pop pop our baits and things like that into there we'll get our spanish moss into here Ooh, missed our grasshopper bait as well um but yeah we've got another 16 eggs so i'm going to put those into our just into our preciouses along with the experience drops as well um, because I think probably that is the safest place for them at the moment um, but I'm wondering whether we can go and see if we can get these chickens to to grow up by giving them some seeds and try and get some feathers can we feed them from here are you gonna let me feed you standing too close to the wall don't they so no they're not going to they're not going to grow so what i might do is just wait for them to uh, to catch up and i will catch up with you guys in a sec and we are back and it just occurred to me actually while the
chickens are growing, we can actually now make mycelium. Mycelium, we've got that spare mushroom, haven't we? We need essence of nature, which we've got. We've got dirt and we've got a mushroom. So why don't we make ourselves some mycelium? Because that way we can then grow our mushroom spores, which will be good. So essence of nature, we need four essence of nature. And dirt, easy peasy. Uh, I think we put dirt back in here by accident, didn't we? Did we put some dirt in here? Nope, I must have done something very random with the dirt. Never mind, that's not a problem. One, two, three, four of those. And we'll take that to our crafting bench. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that one. And that gives us eight mycelium. So I'm kind of tempted, kind of tempted to uh, take up this and take up this one next to it. And there is a reason for that. I'll pop those, pop those into here for the moment. So if I grab these back and what I want is a 9 by 9 so I'm going to have to take that torch off but that's fine we can put that put that oh not there put that back there so I will need a little bit more I'm not going to use all of the mycelium I have but we'll go one two three Four, so this should be, I say nine by nine. It's actually three by three is what we need. And I will grab... I'll put one piece of mycelium down in the middle. And let's... Let that spread. And I'll keep the rest of it just in here. To start with. Because I'm kind of thinking... Part of witchery is the witch water. If we grow, I say we grow witch water, but if we use witch water, um, if we can make witch water, can we make witch water? This is the question. It doesn't look like it. doesn't look like it no we can't do of course we're not in a uh, a void world pack to get mushrooms but hey this will spread and if we want to get mushrooms so we would need to put brown mushroom spores onto mycelium and that will grow us mushrooms so we can start putting that down um, I wonder if we have, whether we don't think we have a watering can, do we? Pretty sure we don't have a watering can of any sort. No, we don't, but that's fine. That will eventually start spreading and it does mean that we can then... So it should spread as it normally does and we can actually put our mushroom spores down. Once it's spread. Right, let's put them. Ooh, do we need crop sticks? We may well need crop sticks. There we go. So we can let those let those grow and we should then I hope be able to get get some mushrooms, which is good. So that is that is something right. Let's go and see our chickens. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about making witch water, but yeah, we can't do that, can we? What have we got? Are you adults yet? You're still babbies. You're still babbies. That's fine. We can live with that. But yeah, I'm hoping this... I'm hoping this spreads. Um, it might be that what we can actually do is once we actually get the mushrooms, we can turn those mushrooms into... Um, into spores themselves and actually start getting a few more a few more mushrooms oh look might we be there we might 
Right, let's gather all of this lot up. And one of the other things that I actually learnt was with this here is that you can actually use hoppers. And I'm kind of thinking, why don't we why don't we look at doing that? What have we got? We've got so we need five. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a waste for one, but it's not like we don't have. It's not like we don't have it, is it? Let's do this quickly. Let's make ourselves. Have we got a couple of chests? No, we need a couple of chests. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn you into logs. Let's go like so. One, two. Let's make ourselves one hopper. Like so. Now we'll also need the chests to go in and out of. So yeah, there was a reason that I got two more. I'm going to grab back this and you'll see why in just a second. Uh, so that's our agricultural journal. Right. So. Let's put down. Where should we set this up? Uh, why don't we take that up? swap this over did that just burn up my thing I think it might have done never mind so that's that there and let's gather this back and this one let's put our hopper into here. Let's put our seed analyzer on the top there. And let's put, let's take this one out as well. Like so. Oops. Need to grab our other iron. Doink. And let's quickly put this one together so we want to put a hopper feeding into our seed down the light oh hello maybe it has to go down hmm so maybe what we need to do is actually let's take that there. Oh, no, we're not going to get very far with that, are we? Like so. So if we go, we want to go one more down here. Chest there. Hopper. Then seed analyzer, wherever you've gone. Where did that go? that gone into the chest where is our seed analyzer oh it's there mm. okay so let's go seed analyzer next that goes there hopper into there let's that's pulled all of the uh, All of the mannery bits out of there, um, but to be to be fair, they've gone into the hopper. <gasps> Where have our runes gone? Oh no! They're in the ah oh, few. 
they're in that hopper for you um so actually if we we might need to use these drawers because what we can then do is actually what we could do is just put these straight into here like so and then those ones into there like so so why is that not connected to our seed analyzer Hmm. Not doing what I thought it would do. Okay, well that's fine. We can, in theory, put those into there like so, can't we? And that will just keep pulling them, pulling them out. And I think that is probably putting them out and depositing them in the chest below. So now what we should have is all of our seeds analysed. So which is our best? So we'd so I think we're still missing some, aren't we? Do we still have some lurking somewhere? there one two that's four five six seven so we have actually got some seeds missing well 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 I wonder if they've got caught in anything else at all doesn't look like it we might have to have a little look at this this setup uh, and see what we can do because yeah, it's not quite working the way I hoped it would Let's take those back for the minute. And yes, we're going to drown. Let's put that. Let's put that back there for the minute. Let's take our chest with seeds. Thank you. Let's put that back in there. Uh we have there we had a crafting table didn't we why don't we just put this one back through there and we'll maybe do what we do what we had before there we go put our block put our block back let's put a chest there um, it's not ideal because it's kind of going to join onto it but you know I can I can live with that. Hopper. Seed analyzer. And that just means we can just feed them in. Feed them in from there. So that's kind of okay. I can I can cope with that. So we'll go one. Oh. No, we don't want that there because we need that one uncovered. We can go one there and one up there and we could start putting our runes if we get them back into our toolbar start putting our runes into here like so put our book back in here And have a look and see. So seven, eight, ten is about the best we've actually got, isn't it? For whatever reason at the moment. So let's go replant these quickly. Then perfect. There we go. So we can put this back, put this back down as well. 
that looks a little bit tidier there we go so we've got some mushrooms they've grown amazing and i think we can probably go like this mushroom spores and you can see the mycelium is starting to spread so let's plant those down as well so the amazing part is we now have mushrooms happy days and random poppers and stuff that we don't need as well right come on chickens let's just get this last feather absolutely brilliant amazing and we've got our feather that is all i needed thank you very much i need nothing else from you now you can all just sit there and do whatever it is you want to do and let's make our very last rune and just complete this task and then we are good to go so let's put the carpet down let's grab our our wand of the forest so let's go so that 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 uh what are we missing ah <gasps> what are we missing string there we go string so that's a feather carpet string mana steel and mana powder and that will give us our very last rune for this part here boom and we get two runes of the air amazing so what have we done with our book again have i lost the book again how do i keep losing the book how does this happen is it in here it is not in here how strange am i just dumping it in random there it is dumped in a random chest right so let's go back to the way the world works and that gives us floral fertilizer and weak essence we can either have the choice of living wood or living rock i'm going to go with the living rock amazing so there we go let's stick that in there so our floral fertilizer that can live in here the weak essence we have i think we have that in here uh, all of our seeds and things like that we've probably got more seeds than we actually really need for here and i, I will sort all of this essency stuff out in due course but yeah there we go our is our rune of the air and that completes all of those runes there we can stick the living rock into that one and that gives us the start of the runes so there we go eventually we got there we got our chickens we've got eggs we've got mushrooms we've got runes so stuff we actually got quite a lot done so sorry it's a little bit of a, a jumpy around and bitty and slightly derpy episode but we did get there in the end but for now guys thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one take care bye